Let's start with identifying what we are given and asked to find. We are given the grams of H2 and asked to find the liters of NH3. Plus, we are given a bounds chemical equation. So here's our plan. We will start with converting the grams of H2 to moles of H2 by using the molar mass of H2. Next, since we want to find the liters of NH3 and not H2, we need to change this, so we will use a mole to mole ratio to go from moles of H2 to moles of NH3. Last part is to change moles of NH3 to liters of NH3. We will use this conversion factor since there was a keyword in the question, which was STP. Setting this up, we'll start with the given and we need to find the molar mass of H2. The molar mass of hydrogen is 1.01. .01. We will multiply this by 2 due to the subscript. The molar mass of H2 is 2.02 grams per mole. Align the units so they can cancel, so place the grams of H2 on the bottom and one mole of H2 on top. The grams of H2 cancel and we now have moles of H2. We will use a mole to mole ratio to convert the moles of H2 to moles of NH3. Since we are given a balanced chemical equation, we will use the coefficients in front. So the moles of H2 will go on bottom, and there are three moles of H2, while the moles of NH3 will go on top, and there are two moles of NH3. The moles of H2 now cancel, and we have the moles of NH3. Last part is to cancel out the moles and convert this to liters by using this conversion factor. So place the one mole of NH3 on the bottom so these units can cancel, and place the liters on top. We know we can stop when we get the units we said we were trying to find, which were the liters of NH3. To avoid calculator mistakes, we will multiply the numerators separately and denominators separately, then divide to get this. Don't forget to round the lowest amount of sig figs, which would be four. This is our final answer.